at the end of the day, it comes back to economics. And at the end of the day, it comes back to how do we protect our environment. So, so these technologies can, can make environment protection happen in a cost-effective way. We still need to work on, on uh, you know, some of the drivers from a policy standpoint to make sure that this is, you know, becomes more and more attractive for companies and municipalities to do that. And we're, we're spending a lot of time on that, not just in Washington, but, but, uh, but around the globe. Uh, to make sure that this the technology, the available technology, is understood, what it can do, uh, both for companies and countries and the environment. At least here in the northeast, where we are right now, uh, the water supply. To make, there's there's enough water here. I think the water scarcity issue comes more into play into, in the. Middle East, but also in the southwest of the United States and some other parts of the world, uh, water pricing plays a diff you know, an important role here. Uh, although us as companies, it's 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 very difficult. I mean, that's a political issue, and um, w what what we focus on is making sure that everybody understands the available technology, what can be done, the economics that we that that are there, and then promote that technology to be implemented uh, in a wide wide variety, not just municipal, but especially also from an industrial standpoint, be it in steel mills and refineries and other, you know, other industrial setups, because the amount of water that is being used in those facilities and those industrial settings is enormous. And, and that's what people hope many times do not see. The oil sands, for instance, in Canada, there is a lot of installations, SACD the installations that use our you know, thermal technology. We have, uh, uh, you know, some of the new water plants in Singapore use our technology. We're using, you know, water, and, and Singapore clearly is a, is a leader in, in that area. We have the same in Tempe, Arizona, for instance. So there is a number of, you know, of, of installations. We're, we're working on new industrial sec uh, you know, sites, in both in, in, in Russia in. Uh, in other parts of the world, where we where we provide the uh, uh, pr the, t the technology to uh, to reuse water and and make uh, make uh, those operations very efficient. So we have a great set of technologies today, but we continue to to invest, and actually we're tripling our our NPI, our new technology investment, to uh, to drive. Uh, new technologies in this space because we want to be differentiated and be seen as the leader in this space, being able to, to tackle those uh, tough challenges.